Welcome to the Taxi Centre. This here is the new MG5. It's the updated 2023 facelift of the vehicle. Let's give you a tour around the car. So as we have a look at the all new MG5, we'll see where all of the main revisions have been made to this new 2023 model. We have got the all new LED headlights that have these daytime running lights up the top. In the center of the car, we then have our charging point. When the vehicle is unlocked, you can push in the charging point, it'll then open up, where you to reveal your Type 2 charger, which is standardized throughout the UK and Europe. We also have access to our DC rapid charger, which is what's gonna give you those fast charging capabilities. On this car here, you can see charging times from zero to 80% in around about 50 minutes. Just beneath that, on the trophy model, then have the first of the four cameras located around the outside of the car. We have one just at the front, one at the back, and a camera under each of the wing mirrors and that's what's going to give you your full 360 degree view. As we look to the four wheels and tyres on the car, you'll see we have the premium Michelin tyres. These have been put on the car and designed to reduce the road noise and to make it as quiet as possible inside the cabin. Within those, we have our 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. We've got the multi-spoke design here on the trophy model, whereas on the SE, we have the five spoke design. Looking at the side of the car, we then have your folding in wind mirrors, which are available on the trophy model. You'll also see you have got those cameras, which are on either side. Just up from there, we have the roof rails. Again, these are just available on the trophy model. If you were to go for the SE, you have a much more sleek design without them on top. We have got our door handles here with our keyless entry. So you have the door locking buttons on both the front doors. For the taxi center, we recommend going for the SE model. This is simply just because of the window tints that are found on the trophy. They may not adhere to local council licensing. At the back of the car, this is where we'll also see the biggest changes for the new 2023 model of the MG5. We have got our revised rear lights and a slightly different reprofiled rear end of the car. On the back, just above the license plate, you'll see we do have the reversing camera. And then just beneath the license plate on the rear bumper, we have our parking sensors. In the boot of the car, you've got a little rubber plate underneath the MG badge where you can open up the boot. In the back here, we have 476 liters of capacity. This can then be increased by lowering the rear seats, which have a 60-40 split. In the back of the car, you'll see, with it being the estate version of the MG EVs, we've still got plenty of legroom. I have put the driving position here to where I have it, and you'll see just how much room I do have in the back. Plus, you do also have plenty of headroom. The seats in the back here, with this one being the trophy model, does have this part leather, part cloth interior that does extend onto the dashboard and the front seats that we'll see shortly. Also in the back, you have got two USB ports, a USB type A and type C. Finally, you also have your ISOFIX points in the back here, one on either side, so you can easily get car seats in the back of the car. Now, looking at the front of the car and in the driver zone, you'll see we have got our dashboard that sits just behind the steering wheel. We also have our floating center display, which is where you can access everything to do with your media controls, your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, and you can also connect to the MGI Smart App all through here. So we swipe across, we then have more options here and other settings and controls that you can all manage all through the infotainment system. And on the right hand side, you have your shortcuts, another option and way to get back to the home screen, you have your sat nav, Bluetooth media, your phone, and your 360 cameras. Just beneath the center display, we have got our various different quick access buttons. On here, you've got everything from your heating controls, your volume controls, and the home button, which will take you back to this page here. You then have your drive select dial, where you can put the car into drive, neutral, reverse, and by pressing the P on top, 
will allow you to go from to park. Then have your handbrake and your auto hold buttons just on the lower half of the bridge. You have got your cup holders, lots of space there for two. And then underneath this part under here, you've got your USB slots. Finally, you have also got one extra little storage compartment just underneath the armrest, another handy place to put things like bottled drinks. The new 2023 MG5 picks up exactly where the previous generation left off. The car actually sits on the exact same platform. It has the exact same motors and the same batteries inside. This new car is a facelift where they have enhanced and redesigned the front and rear end of the car. Plus we have this all new interior in the car that's a little bit more user friendly and a little bit more premium. Much like the MG ZS EV and the MG4, the car does have that electric vehicle instant torque where it allows you to have 100% of the power 100% of the time. The car still retains its three different regenerative braking modes. So you have strong, weak and medium, which you can tailor and control all through the center console just down here. So you then have your three different driving modes, which you can toggle and control all through the center console. You have comfort, which is what the car will always start in, sport, which will make the car a little bit more responsive, and eco, which acts a little bit like a low power mode on your phone, where it allows you to get even more range out of the battery. The steering on the car is really nice and light. The steering wheel is nice and small, easy to grip and to get a hold of. Makes the car really nice and comfortable to drive when you're going up and down the motorways. But similarly, it's also very comfortable driving in and around town. The dashboard behind the steering wheel is an evolution from the previous generation of the MG5. You still have your various different displays that you can toggle between, where you can see any error codes that are on the car, but also you can access everything to do with your adaptive cruise control. So thank you for watching this video on the all new MG5. For more information on the vehicle, please feel free to head to the taxicenter.com and we'll be happy to help. Yeah.